So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 49 of dx over the cube root of 27 plus 2x squared. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just rewrite our integral in a better way. So 0 to 49. So what I want to do is move the uh, dx to the outside. So it's just going to become 1 over. And then I'm going to have the dx out here. And then 27 plus 2x squared. And then we have the cube root of that. We can rewrite as 27 plus 2x to the 2 over 3. So yeah, we're just going to rewrite this as that on the bottom. So 27 plus, actually I'm going to erase this. So 27 plus 2x to the 2 over 3. So yeah, that just makes it a bit easier. So now what we want to do is, since we're using u substitution, we have to decide what u is going to be. So we should probably set this part equal to u, right? So our u is going to be equal to 27 plus 2x. Uh, then we want to find the derivative of this. So the derivative of 27 is just 0. Derivative of 2x is just 2. Then we got to multiply by dx. Then we're going to solve for dx, right? That's the next step. So we divide both sides by 2. We'll get that dx equals du over 2. So now what we want to do is rewrite our integral. So we have 0 to 49, and then 1 over, and then we replace our 27 plus 2x with u. Right, because that's what we set u equal to. And it's raised to the 2 over 3. And so we can replace 1 uh, over u to the 2 over 3. It's the same thing as u to the minus 2 over 3. Right? If you have 1 over u to a variable, uh, you can just make it the negative of that. So then we have dx. And we know what dx is. We just solve for it. It's du over 2. So we can just, this is the same thing as 1 half times du, right? So we're just going to move the 1 half out front. So now we've got this, but there's one thing we have to change. So what you need to realize is that these are x values, right? This is with respect to x, basically. And we need them with respect to u. So what we want to do is take these values and plug them into our u formula up here um, to get them like in re with respect to u. So if I rewrite it, let's first find out what the lower bound is going to be. So we're going to plug 0 into this. So it's going to be equal to 27 plus 2 times 0. 2 times 0 is just 0, so it's 27 plus 0, which is just 27. So our new lower bound 27. Then let's do the upper bound. So it's going to be 27 plus 2 times 49. So if we do 2 times 49, it's going to be 98. So it's going to be 27 plus 98, which is 125. So now we got the upper bound. Uh, let me rewrite that. So 125. And then let's rewrite our thing on the inside. Then now what we want to do is find the antiderivative of our function on the inside. We have 1 half times u to the minus 2 over 3. Uh, so we do that by adding 1 to our exponent. So minus 2 over 3 plus 1 is 1 over 3. And we're dividing by our new exponent, 1 over 3. And then multiply by 1 half. So 1 half divided by 1 over 3. We can write as uh, 1 half times 3 over 1, which just becomes 3 over 2. So we just have 3 over 2 times u to the 1 third, and that plus b. But since we're doing the definite integral, we can ignore that. So it's just 3 over 2 uh, times u raised to the 1 over 3. And then so now what we got to do is evaluate it from our upper bound and lower bound. So 27 and 125. So we're going to plug in 125, get a value minus whatever 27 is plugged into it. So let's plug in 125. So we have 3 over 2 times 125 raised to the 1 over 3. 125 raised to the 1 over 3 is going to give us 5. And then 5 times 3 over 2 should give us 15 over 2, which is 7.5. So when we plug in 125, we get 7.5. And then what we want to do is subtract whatever 27 is plugged into it. We have 3 over 2 times 27 to 1 over 3. 27 to the 1 over 3 is going to be 3. So we just have 3 times 3 over 2, which is 9 over 2, which equals 4.5. So we have 7.5 minus 4.5, which is 3. So our final answer this problem is going to be 3.